Hello, my name is LaTanya Higgins, and they call me the Diva of Development. Yes, they do. Now, I'm going to quickly try to answer five questions without wasting a whole lot of your time. Now, this is about ideation and feasibility. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the questions that I'm going to answer for you very quickly is understand, do I understand the difference between an idea and execution? Okay. And um, what brings it financial value? So ideas are things that you take into consideration that have something to do with you developing your plan. How you get it to financial feasibility or financial wealth is the steps that you would take to let your investors know or yourself, if you're your self-investment, how you're going to get your money back and when. Because in all honesty, that's all investors are really worried about. My ROI and when am I going to get it? Okay, that's what I'd be worried about. Your plan or your business plan is your roadmap to how you or I am going to get to where I'm going to reach this pot of gold, so to speak. Okay, now to address the issue of timing for my venture. Now, my venture is an apartment application. And what it does is it bids on apartments on the platform of television. And the reason why we chose this area of business is because feasibly it works. You look at all of the housing um, television shows that they have, House Hunters, My First Home, DIY.com, and all of these other, DIY.tv even. And you look at all of these applications or platforms that they're having these shows on, they're the number one hit shows on internet TV and regular. Mm -hmm. Look at the uh, the uh, show where they go and they tear the whole house down for a family in need. Mm -hmm. And then they go in and they rebuild the whole area. That show is doing very well on television. People seem to take advantage of and like to look at things like that. They like to look at how things can be restored because they take it personal. Okay, So looking at that, I looked at how that could make money on a interactive platform and there are not any applications out there if you look at Roku TV and iTunes TV and Google TV even for the smart TV platform I would love to create an application that's interactive where you can sit back on your couch instead of going out in the cold weather bundling all up or getting all hot and bothered driving around looking for apartment to apartment and trying to figure out where you and your family are going to move next when you can actually take advantage of a laid-back experience by sitting on your couch utilizing your cell phone to access your smart TV and actually bid on your apartment rental mm -hmm. you can actually rent your apartment you can view the apartment while you're on TV in real time viewing. And the beautiful thing about being on the television platform is imagine the income that you could gain by listing other services along with that particular um, bit. Okay, so let's say you need moving services or storage, those ads can run alongside the actual application. The application would show population variances, schools, the area crime rate, things like that. And it's a value to the management and to the renter. Okay? Charges would be towards management, not towards your um, potential renters. We would give profiles and things like that, but we would be working as a broker with the actual management companies on our platforms. Okay, now um, how we would get uh, capital from these these uh, services are that we would initially start off by off, uh, by doing ads, running the ads on our pages in real time bidding, and these ads generate a phenomenal amount of money in the real time bidding arena. And we're also looking at also um, my experience. I have nine years experience as a California real estate broker in this industry. And I also have about 10 years experience in technologies, especially web technologies. Yeah, I ain't no spring chicken. Okay. Now, 
The question asked, third question asked, can I be comfortable with being uncomfortable? That means as my business grows, the ups and downs, highs and lows of businesses, can I handle? Now, according to our show, we had to watch a seminar, a one-hour seminar with Miss Carol Ross. And she asked the question, are you comfortable with being uncomfortable? And I can honestly tell you, yes. The highs and lows of businesses are something that I expect along the way. And you should too. Okay, if you're going to be successful, understand that having many resources in the event that your business should get weird or something should happen or you need legal help, you got to have resources and a great network of people to know when to step out. You don't always have to be a chief. Sometimes it helps if you're an Indian. Risk to reward. Those are things that you want to consider. My risk versus my reward is great. It's better than insurance. Better than insurance. Mm -hmm. We have a 10 to 1 payout. For every 10 rentals that we gain and we're allowed to take the first month's rent as a referral fee from management. Okay, and the cash passes through our platform to the manager. Once the um, potential bidder wins, then we're allowed to clear that much cash every month. And the average rent in the state of California, about twelve hundred bucks for a two bedroom. Do those numbers, okay? For TV too. Okay, we're not even going to talk about real time bidding in that platform. Okay, now, um, what about entrepreneurial risk assessment? There's very, I've been in this industry of apartment renting and real estate for quite some time. And in this market that we are in now, we are in an up market. This is the time you want to get into apartment bidding. You want to get into apartment rentals. You want to get into real estate. This is my industry, people. And I'm telling you, I will be very good at it. I've done my studies. I know the market. And I'm very well prepared for what it has to bring me. Well, y'all have a great day. This is the end of my presentation. Take care, y'all. Bye.